this is gonna be a lot of work. What am I getting myself into? Hey guys, so I've decided to literally change my entire room. Like I wanna redecorate all of it because I've decided that it looks like a dumpster. Like it's literally trash and I wanna change that. I thought it would be fun to make like a video where I just like show you guys redecorating my whole room. And this is gonna be a lot of work. So it's probably gonna be a few parts. I honestly don't know how many parts it's gonna be because like I said, my room is literally a dumpster. So we'll just have to see how many parts this is. But for this part in this video, we're just gonna be clearing everything out cleaning all this trash in my room i'm not a hoarder i promise but like i just have a lot of things and i gotta get rid of it but before we start like cleaning stuff out i thought it would be cool to do like a room tour i just want to show you guys like the before and then by the time we're done you can see the after it'll be like a cool comparison you know like those like those home improvement channels do like with the like swipe and then it like changes that's what i'm trying to do so i guess let's just start let's just show what my room is ew my only good lighting is from this window so I'm literally gonna have to turn on the lights in my room. I cannot. Look at this. This light is literally disgusting. I freaking hate it. Like this overhead lighting. Look at my face. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Disgusting. So I mean, that's the first thing. My ceiling with this disgusting, fat, ugly, nasty light. But let's just continue. So here's my door with a Hunger Games poster that I've had for, I don't know, eight years has it been eight years since hunger games i don't know but this is still on my door for some reason then right next to that we have these two paintings okay i think this is like the best part of my room like it looks like the most normal then right above or not above that's below right below that we have my bed which is super comfortable and i sleep here all the time obviously where else would I sleep? So then I have this. It's a moose. Why did I decide to put this on my wall? I have no idea, but I thought it was like cool. Look, it like matches. See, I knew what I was doing in middle school. I was matching colors. Okay, that's good enough. This green wall, I don't know what I was thinking about. Like it matches the green, but this green color, like this is literally a green screen. <laughs> But this wall basically has my TV and then like these two things that I've literally had for, I don't know, 12 years. I literally had this since my old house and that's a long time ago. But yeah, it's my TV and then like these two cabinet things, my record player, speaker, and air filter. Then over here, we have my whole like art cabinet thingy. I just have all of my art that I've made my entire life. We have my desk and this painting. Oh my gosh, this was the first painting that I ever put into an art competition I actually won something look at that pretty ribbon and yeah that's basically my entire room yeah I have a lot to clear out and literally take out of this entire room so I thought I would just like take you guys along on one cabinet or something because if I show you me cleaning out literally my entire room this video would probably be like five hours long so we're not gonna do that but this one cabinet right here has a lot and I mean a lot of like goodies and by goodies I mean trash that needs to literally go away Way. So I thought we would clear this out and then at the end of the video, I'll show you my empty room and then in the next video, we'll start painting. This cabinet literally has so much stuff. Like I'm scared to even open this for you guys. I don't want y'all to see what's in here. Okay, whatever. Oh my God gosh oh hi look that's me i am so scared to clean this out i literally just like throw stuff in here whenever i don't know what to do with it so this is gonna be a challenge i don't even know where to start like do i start with the bottom one or the top one there's so much stuff in here what is this just trash just so much trash what is all of this trash 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 is this even gonna be interesting like am i just gonna be taking out trash out of here i mean there's some interesting stuff like this iguana and we have the patrick star slinky thing and then we have more we have a little cow oh that's so cute look at that cow says moo and then we have a little bear with a nightcap and we have a bunny i think that's all of the stuffed animals picture frame okay what is this Ooh. oh i haven't used this in a while i have this drone look at that i found this you know i found this at like a park i think i found this in las vegas i was at some park and there was like rocks and bushes and stuff and i went down to the bushes because that's what any regular boy does goes into bushes right and this was in there but it was like completely broken like the like thingies whatever these thingies are called they were like completely broken and stuff and i was like 
wow, I've never seen a drone before, but it's broken. But I took it anyways and it still worked. All I had to do was replace these little thingies and it works. And I think this is like a $400 thing that I just got for free. There was no one there. So clearly whoever dropped this out of the sky didn't want it anymore. So I took it and now I have a $400 drone for free. Oh, okay. We have my high school and my junior high yearbook. Oh, this is a two for one special. This is my high school yearbook. It's got a cool like little effect thingy over there. Oh my gosh, I actually haven't opened this in so long. My last name's with a Z, so I'm all the way at the end, but let's see where I'm at. Here I am, wow. Okay, let's go to junior high. Here's my junior high yearbook. I'm actually kind of scared to like open this and see my picture, because I definitely haven't seen this one in years. Well, there you guys go. Okay, that's enough of that. What else do we have in here? Some more trash, okay. Ooh, look at this fancy report I did on endangered species policy paper AP government. Why do I have so many trash papers? What is this? Molar mass, atomic mass. <gasps> oh no, I'm getting chemistry flashbacks. I do not need to look at that. Ooh, this is good. Look at these sunglasses. Wow, these are nice. <gasps> Should I wear these for the rest of the video? Nah, I don't wanna torture y'all. These are good, like I might wear these. I'm just kidding, <laughs> that's so bad. These are so ugly, what even is this? What kind of shape is this? This is like goggles, but sunglasses, you know what I mean? Oh, we got another Patrick Star. I have no idea what this is. Like literally, why is he shaped this way? What is this and what is this? Oh my gosh, I feel like I took out so much stuff and there's literally so much stuff left. We have boxes, we have like the clear. Oh, what was that? Ooh, oh my gosh. I literally forgot that I had this. A freaking selfie stick? Oh, I'm putting this on right now. Welcome to my selfie stick world. I can't believe people actually used to use these. Like, look how ridiculous this is. Papers, 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 papers. Oh, I know what this is. Oh my gosh, I have three boxes here to show y'all. I'm sure you could probably not guess what's in these boxes. Like, pause the video right now and try and just guess what's in here. It's pencils, look. At at this, I collect pencils. I have so many, like this whole thing is filled with pencils and those two boxes too. Every time I go on vacation or if I just like go to a store and they have some cool pencils, I just get some, like look at these. Oh my gosh, I got these from Jamaica. These are so freaking cool. Like just any pencil that's like really cool and unique. Oh my gosh, I love this one. It's like a SpongeBob and he spit. Do not tell me I broke it. Oh no, it's only, no, it's just like an eraser cover. But that is so cool. And then this box also has some like, look at this chicken, a chicken pencil. Isn't that cool? Oh, and this one's cool too. It's like a twisty, like a twisty one. So I just have like a ton of random pencils in these three boxes because I like collecting them. Oh, a big mega pencil. This one does not fit in my box. So I just have like this giant long one that actually is pretty cool. Where is this from? Oh, it's from the Texas State Capitol. It's like a magic wand. Oh my gosh my old sketchbooks. This is literally from when I first started doing art in like elementary school. I have not looked at this in forever. Okay, what's my first? Obviously it's Pokemon. I used to be literally obsessed with Pokemon. See, we got a Totodile right there. This is literally all Pokemon drawings. I think there's different stuff later on. See, I used to go crazy, but honestly that's pretty good for an elementary school student. Oh, and then here we have Tails from Sonic. I used to be obsessed with Sonic too. Okay, yeah, this is literally all Pokemon and Sonic drawings. Let's see what's in this other book. This one was from junior high. Literally a cat spraying spider webs on my TV. Um... Okay. Oh my gosh. I remember this took me hours to complete. It's a red panda. This used to be my number one favorite animal. Like I used to be obsessed with these. I still love these. They're like my top animal, but I really like toucans now. That's my favorite, but red pandas will forever hold a special place in my heart. Oh, this is pretty cool. This shows my creativity. A pumpkin that's like cut out cause like jack-o'-lanterns, you know? But yeah, I think that's basically like the cool stuff. Moving on. I don't know what else there is to move on to. There's like coloring books and more paper in here. So I guess we're pretty much done with this cabinet. I'm just gonna clear it out and the rest of my room too. So I guess I'll just update you guys throughout that and we'll see what happens. Hi, it's the next day. So I did a lot. All of this is cleared out. Like this whole green wall is just completely empty. Then I just have my bed, this wall, which I'm about to get rid of all of this. But for right now, I just wanna like 
pop in and take this off with you guys. I have this mousse on my wall. They're like adhesive square thing. Actually, they kind of take off the paint. I mean, we're repainting anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, that was intense. My fingers hurt so much, but it's gone. My mousse is gone. I don't think I'm gonna move my bed. I'm just gonna like move it to the middle of the room and then cover it with like plastic or trash bags or something. Cause moving this out of my room, like through that tiny door, I don't think that's possible. So we're gonna keep it in here for like painting video, which is probably the next one. So subscribe so you don't miss it and you see those videos. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next week. Peace.